Yeah, good morning, everyone. Today we are going to see the registration process of TCS 2023. Open any one browser, Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. In that, open Google. Type TCS next step. Select the first link. Select register now. Here, very important thing. If you observe, there are two options. Select the option information technology. Okay, here, fill the details of you. Example, let us consider Mr. Okay, I'm going to fill something like that. Okay, uh, if you are having middle name, type the middle name or surname, type the surname. Here, the date of birth, any one. Okay, please give the details as per your SSC. The select the date of birth as per your SSC. Okay, for example, I'm giving something here. Okay. Then select the gender, email ID. Please type your email ID very carefully. Why? Because you're going to receive any updates from that. Okay, let us consider I'm going to type my email ID here. Okay, I'm going to display this uh, email ID here. Uh, okay, after that, type your mobile number. Okay, after that, institution name. See, observe very carefully here, institution name. Okay, I'm going to select my, our institution name. Annamacharya. See, observe very carefully here, you're having Annamacharya Institute of Technology and Sciences, Kadapa. Please select this one very carefully. Okay, then qualification here. This is a very important point, guys. Qualification, what is our qualification? Bachelor of Technology. Bachelor of Technology is our qualification. Is it clear? This is Bachelor of Technology. Year of passing. When you are going to pass? In the year 2023. Nearest TCS office. Okay. Select Hyderabad. Sorry. Select Hyderabad. Here, enter password. Here, the password should be selected by us. The password in this password. Uh, don't forget one capital letter. Okay, and numbers, any special character. Let us consider your roll number is 19H. I'm going to uh, type the roll number in the format of TCS password policy 19H capital letter M 1A0. Let us consider it is 401 at the rate. Similarly, 19HM1A0401. Re enter the password. Select any security question. If you forget the password, we have to select the security question, right? Okay. Now, if you observe that, what is the select security question? I'm going to select very simply, simple question. What is your pet name? What is your postal code? Okay. I'm going to select the postal code. Our postal code is my postal code is 516001. After that, you have to type the character displayed 7V capital letter I 0 capital letter W. Then submit. Okay, invalid email. I forgot to type at the rate. I have to type a mobile number. Okay, let us consider. Mobile number is given and submit. Okay, they are displaying that. Uh, please confirm your mail ID and mobile number. Okay, confirm. Select confirmation here. Okay, please note down this reference ID. Why? Because you have to share your reference ID for me. What is your reference ID here? 
डी टी टू जीरो डबल टू थ्री जीरो नाइन थ्री सिक्स नाइन सेवन दिस इज अवर रेफरेंस आई डी इज इट क्लियर प्लीज वन सेकेंड आई एम टेलिंग दैट ओके वी हैव टू नोट डाउन अवर रेफरेंस आई डी आई एम गोइंग टू कॉपी दिस फॉर नेक्स्ट प्रोसेस आफ्टर taking the screenshot or whatever it may be okay just very carefully note down your reference id then please click on continue they are going to ask please enter your password to continue what is the password we have selected okay 19 h capital letter m 1a0401 at the rate submit okay now if you observe that after signing they are going to display here welcome salim if you observe you can able to see here this is my reference number okay here we have to click application form first of all okay these are the instruction we are having to fill application form okay start filling the form here observe very carefully start filling the form personal details tcs office we already selected name okay father's name here we have to type something i'm going to type something okay after that they are going to ask permanent address any address here for just i'm typing something else country india then state andhra pradesh city kadapa pin code it is your pin code nearest pin code uh, are the permanent and present address are same okay if the permanent and present address are same just select yes otherwise select no type the present address is it clear then after that contact details already we have given email id मोबाइल नंबर ओके नो नीड ऑफ एनी अल्टरनेट मोबाइल नंबर इफ यू आर हैविंग यू मे प्रोसीड सेम एंड कंटिन्यू आफ्टर दैट दे आर गोइंग टू आस्क हाईएस्ट क्वालिफिकेशन एकेडमिक इंफॉर्मेशन दे आर गोइंग टू आस्क हाईएस्ट क्वालिफिकेशन कैटेगरी ग्रेजुएट और सो ऑन सो कंटिन्यू इंस्टीट्यूशन नेम अन्नमाचार्य इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी बैचलर ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी ओके 2023 सेम एंड कंटिन्यू ओके नेक्स्ट दे आर गोइंग टू आस्क expected course duration okay uh, since uh, mostly very important regular student give any tentative date of joining let us consider you have joined in 20 uh, 20 select this one let us see here first of all what is the year regular student you have joined 2019 select 2019 i'm going to select june 20 tentative date it is okay it is not a perfect date okay uh, if uh, you are a diploma students please select 2020 onwards right then 2023 it is 2023 ending year august select august or any tentative right then course type what is our course type full time it is it is not part time okay specialization uh, that is your wish na uh, regarding the branch if you are let us consider i am taking an example of ec electronics and communication see here if you are having electronics and communication okay then uh, since you are r19 regulation you are having a cgpa right Uh, cgpa obtained total cgpa equivalent percentage okay please enter the cgp after let us consider 8 is a cgp obtained total cgpa is 10 equivalent percentage let us consider 80 is the percentage i have given okay see here they are asking please enter percentage value with two digit after the decimal point that means 80.00 okay that is very important point save and continue please select relevant courses 12 or equivalent diploma if you are regular student please select 12 equivalent diploma if diploma students uh, for regular student select 
uh, 12th grade specialization. What is your specialization? MPC is your specialization, university or institution. Okay. What is your institution name? Let us consider uh, Polytechnic Women's. So, oh, sorry. Uh, something else. Naga Juna Junior College Kadapa. Here you have to give the institution name Board of Education. Okay. State Board. What is our board? State Board. Next, tentative duration here. Okay. Uh, since uh, you are here, observe very carefully while giving the duration of 12th grade, what they are asking, please mention only your 12th duration in your 12th grade details. Please do not add 11 to it. That means actually the intermediate is two years, but they are telling to fill only the last year. That means second year course duration. What is the second year of you? 18 to 19. Is it clear? That means select 2018. Okay. I'm going to select June, whatever it may be, 6th year, 19. I'm going to give 2019. Okay. Whatever it may be, April or May any tentative date okay and the course is full time itself since intermediate is marks you have to select marks total marks obtained let us consider 89890 okay this is 1000 okay save and continue let us uh, observe very carefully if you are a diploma candidates you have to uh, select diploma and you have to type here. Here they are asking the roll number of uh, SSC. Let us consider uh, I am going to give 0617646. This is my roll number. University or institution, school name. Okay. Mother Teresa English Medium High School. One of the example I am selecting. It is not uh, that whatever I am going to type here. You have to type that. Here you have to type your school name. Board of Education, once again, State Board, Duration. Here also only we have to write the 10th class duration. Okay, for you, what is the 10th class duration? 2017 to 18. Is it clear? That means select the 10th class duration 2017 to 18. Okay. Here 10th class duration, you have to 2017. Let us consider March, something else. Okay, 2018. 2018, let us assume that April something else. Okay, here for you, I think so, CGPA. Uh, CGPA up in 8. Total CGPA 10. Don't forget, here you have to give the uh, obtain CGP of yours, not what I have given here. Is it clear? Okay, save and continue. After that, any other qualification? Yeah. Have you done any other course? No. Save and continue. Experience details? No. Because we are freshers. Save and continue. Declaration. Here, very carefully, uh, please uh, carefully study and uh, give the declaration. Do you have any break in studies? No. Unless until you have any break. Have you done any other courses? No. Do you have any pending backlogs currently? Once again, I'm repeating. Do you have any pending backlogs currently? Please select no, right? Then after that, you have taken all subject marks into consideration for calculating the obtained total CGPA in each of the above mentioned. Yes. The marks obtained entered by you for each of the above mentioned academic qualification has been secured in the first attempt. Yes. Or somebody else, they, if they kept you are having backlogs. You can select no and you have to see here if you select no, no problem. It is. is it clear? You have considered only the marks obtained during the normal duration of the course for calculating obtained total duration. See what they are asking. You have considered only the marks or CGP obtained during the normal duration of the course. Yes, normal duration of the course itself. You have completed each of the above mentioned academic course in the stipulated time. Yes. You have declared a break in studies, work experience, and pending backlogs, if any, during any academics? No. Is it clear? 
Why? Because we have selected here. Do you have any pending backlogs currently? Sorry, uh, we have selected have. Do you have any break in studies? No. Here also you have to give no. Is it clear? Uh, you have not attended the TCA selection process in the last six months. Yes. You have read the TCS eligibility criteria to understand. Yes. Okay. Finally, I agree. Same and continue. Okay. After that, what they are asking that nationality. Okay. India. Okay. Language known. What, what are the languages you know? See here. Just add neuro. Okay. Sorry. Add neuro. Select. Let us consider we know first of all English. English. We can able to speak, read, write. It is not our mother tongue. Next, add neuro. Okay. Next. Telugu. Uh, speak, read, write. If it is your mother tongue, then please you can select the mother tongue. Otherwise, no problem. Okay. Next, add neuro. I hope that Hindi. Hindi, somebody can able to speak, read, write. Okay, somebody, you are having Urdu also. Okay, you can able to speak, read, write somebody. Is it clear? Okay, then after that, language certification. If you done any language certification, you can please select here, language certification. Otherwise, no need, right? Save and continue. Achievements, please specify any achievements, scholarship, etc. So on. So if you are having any achievements, you can select otherwise no need. Is it clear? Save and continue. Smart card details. Please provide the below details carefully as they will be printed on your TCS identity card. Okay. What is your name? Please see here what they are talking about. Please provide the below details carefully. Why? Because they will be printed on your TCS identity card. Okay. Uh, let us consider i'm going to give the name my first name is salim and the last name is Sai. okay blood group okay my blood group i'm giving b positive uh, sorry b positive uh, upload photo and uh, resume cv here they are telling some instructions observe upload recent uh, passport size color photo uh, jpg format size maximum 500 kb and uh, next uh, we have to upload our CV. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to browse. I don't know whether there is a dummy photo or not. I will try. Okay. Downloads. I hope that uh, I didn't have any photo. Okay. No problem. Uh, I will try to download from my mail ID. Yeah, I'll try to photo. Okay, I will try to select any dummy resume. Resume. Okay, I will. Okay, I've taken resume. Okay, in that, uh, let us try. I will give one dummy photo. Okay, I'm going to select this one. Okay, let us consider how to download this one. I will try to download this one. Otherwise, no problem. I will try to give my photo access. That, uh, okay. Photo. I hope that if you are having any photo, I can able to select one. Okay, that is the thing, guys. You have to passport photo. I will try.
try to okay i will try to download this one if it is possible here yeah, copy image okay we will try to copy image okay i will try to open paint okay for you there is no big problem guys uh, i hope that you can able to have your own photo for explaining purpose itself i am going to do all these things right photo okay let's come back here okay browse and upload photo where is the photo just now we save here here what is the name photo let's see yeah photo is uploaded next yeah uh, we will see where it is present it is present in admin downloads okay okay let us see here desktop downloads yeah here it is okay after giving you a photo and then please select save and continue okay then after that are you involved in any pending or civil criminal cases no are you involved in any pending or close discipline any multi malpractices no application form preview if you want you can see the application form preview by selecting this one okay if there is any mistakes you can able to go back to the edit okay otherwise no no need okay have you appear for no okay i agree please select on appear then submit application form please enter place in application form sorry i forgot is there any place in application form yeah here there is a place kadappa okay submit would you like to apply for tcs recruitment drive s yes. okay uh, test mode this is very important guys test mode please select remote please select remote test mode remote apply you have applied for recruitment drive okay uh, when you just uh, refresh this page here if you observe that uh apply for drive if you click this apply for drive you have applied for recruitment drive it should be mentioned clearly is it clear okay thank you very much guys this is the detailed step by step process for tcs recruitment 2023 okay have a nice day if you are having any doubts please feel free to contact okay thank you very much for each and every one have a nice day guys okay thank you thank you very much for each and every one have a nice day